Hello YouTube. Uh, got another video on Polaroids. Uh, this one's just a little bit of information on uh, how these things actually work. On eBay, when you're looking at these things, a lot of them will say uh, that they're in great condition and they may be, and they'll also say, um, you know, shutter works fine. Uh, well, if they don't have the battery to test uh, these shutters with, they can't really tell if the shutter is working or not because um, even without a battery in it, the shutter will click. You need the battery to make uh, all of this, the wonders of 60s technology, uh, work properly. What happens when you press, when you've cocked the shutter and you press the red number two button, which is your shutter button, what happens is this, you probably can't see it, but there's a cable that runs from the shutter button under here to the back of the shutter housing. This one in my hand here is a slightly different model, but the function is basically the same in all models. You press the, the, the button, the shutter button, the cable pushes up on this, and this one's a little screwed up, so I gotta, I gotta work it by hand. So it pushes up on that, releases the shutter, and then this, which is actually the shutter mechanism, slides over. <clears throat> now in order for these things to work properly, you need the battery. And the reason is, this right here, um, if you can see it, there's a yellow coil, that's an electromagnet. When you cock the shutter, it pulls the shutter mechanism over and pulls a little steel piece right up against that electromagnet. So, again, you press the shutter button, and um, again, this thing sticks a little bit, so I have to work it by hand. You press the shutter release, it lets go of this connection, and this, which is supposed to slide over immediately, slides, watch that roller, if you can see it, it pushes on this arm, which releases that shutter mechanism. That thing is quick. What needs to happen is when you have a battery in it, you press the, the shutter release. Again, that thing opens up and what is supposed to happen, oh, my finger is going to be in the way, what is supposed to happen is instantaneously this drops and you'll see how now this right here that's where the actual shutter is the aperture is and part of the mechanism has slid over it opens the aperture which is open currently if you can't tell over here at the electromagnet that little steel piece should still be stuck to the magnet and the and the electronic guts um, do their magic and release the the actual slide itself in a fraction of a second and it's all done electronically as I said through the wonders of 60s technology uh, so if you if you're gonna buy one on eBay and they say uh, shutter works they probably don't really know unless they've got the battery and, and know exactly what they're looking for. However, the build quality of these things was so good uh, that it's very unlikely that they don't work unless they've been really, really abused. Um, you're more likely to have trouble with the bellows from old age. Uh, what you will probably have a problem with is a condition of the battery compartment, these leads. This is where your biggest problem is going to be and usually on the negative side. Um, I'm going to cut it short at that. My battery indicator is telling me I'm almost out of business. I plan on doing a couple more videos on Polaroids and how they work because they're, they're amazing uh, for their time. And that right there is your, is your, is your uh, photo cell. That tells all of this stuff how long that electromagnet needs to hold. Um, and it's just a, a wonder of technology, or it was at the time. And this is the wheel. 
that you use to set your film speed. And this is the other wheel for setting, I think it's the black and white to color setting. Um, but all of this stuff is uh, pretty incredible when you look at it. So that's it for today. I'll see you next time.